And this is what I mean. That if we want a positive, a secure, and a just future for the Palestinians, and in fact, for all the people of the Middle East, and all the people of North Africa, we cannot get away from the fact that the solution begins with the complete destruction, yes. the annihilation, yes. and the utter dismemberment of the state of Israel. Palestinian people and the peoples around the world who are standing up against the genocidal, nation-destroying war being waged by the Zionist uh, government of Israel against the Palestinian people. And so I think it's good for us to be here today and very, very relevant, and we are very happy to be here. Were it not for the state, there would be no lobbies all around the world sending money and arms to the state of Israel. Were it not for the state, all of these resources which are marshaled around the world to contribute to the injustice which comes out of that little country, that would not be possible. And so if you dismember the state, you dismember the worldwide drug trade, the worldwide trafficking of women, the worldwide insecurity, the worldwide financial crisis. Operating one of these specially made uh, Caterpillar American bulldozers. She said, The head politician on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, who of us has the courage to say to this politician that are you a regular House Negro or are you the quintessential House Negro? Who of us have the courage when we couch our presentation in suggesting that the problem can be solved by the dismemberment of the state of Israel and the support that that state receives from the United States?